Hello, YouTube. This is Fantasy Zone. This is a very interesting run. This was made in 1986 as a shooter arcade and ported over to the NES. This run is at http uh, colon slash slash testvideos.org slash 4122m.html, as you can see at the bottom of my screen. You will find this run and many others at testvideos.org. This particular run was done by a couple of people here. Actually, no, this one was by the 8-Bit Beast and was submitted in, uh, in February and was accepted to the site in March. So we're going to run through this one, and here goes. I'm going to pull up this stream here. This is the command I'm running to, using to run it. It's just a, uh, a DPCM with a soft reset. So we've got a reset wire connected to the console. So when I pull this line low, it will automatically start the run. So here goes. So this is Fantasy Zone. This is a really cool looking run. I'm not gonna lie. It's very bizarre. The NES port is very bright. Reminds me a little bit of, well, a run that has given me great difficulty in the past. I love the way this is finished. You might remember that at AGDQ 2014, our first attempt at, uh, at, a, uh, at a TAS went very, very badly. A Delicat didn't get his revenge until years later. <laughs> Anyone remember this? Oh, you think it looks like a side-scrolling side Twinbee, huh? Anyone else uh, think this looks like another very familiar game? <laughs> so this task is an improvement of only nine seconds on the original run that was quite a bit older than this. Uh, done all the way back, let's see, the, uh, the previous task of this was done all the way back in 2006. So this was a much needed update. And nine seconds might not seem like much, but it, it's a fair bit, and this is actually kind of entertaining to watch. <laughs> so this actually somewhat does remind me of Otaki in some ways. Uh, Otaki was a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up. Uh, and yes, it does definitely glitch the graphics on this. This particular game actually has a lot of tech going on it. There's a frame rule in address 0015, which ticks up once a frame and repeats every 60 frames. So that's a heck of a frame rule. That's definitely a case of, okay, imagine you're at a bus stop, and... Um, <laughs> And as you can see by the length of this video, this whole thing is only 3 minutes and 57 seconds long. So this is not exactly enough time for me to do even a remotely competent attempt of everything that happens in this game. It's, it's just too fast of a task. And yeah, as someone in chat put it, 9 seconds in a task is an eternity. So there's the... If you go to taskvideos.org to the... So the publication over at 4122m.html. Over there is a link to these actual submission notes. There's a ton of information that the author of this task put in. The 8-Bit Beast added a ton of information on the review of upgrades, the way that he rerouted it, various different techniques, RAM addresses, how much time he saved in a chart on every single level. This is a very well-documented task. Highly recommend you go check it out. If you want to listen to this, without me talking over the top of it, by all means, I highly recommend going to taskvideos.org. I've got TaskBot here. You can see he is pressing the buttons right here at the bottom lower corner of your screen. So this was accepted to the Moons category of task videos. Moons runs have to competently show that they are entertaining. Runs that are not entertaining end up in the vault. This one definitely made it over the threshold. Have fun waiting to have fun waiting to attack, huh? Yet <laughs> and dropping 16 ton weights on bosses. Yep, this game is a little peculiar. The the, the backstory on this particular game is is kind of bizarre. It, it was a 1986 shooter arcade game developed by Sega. It was ported to many other consoles, including the Famicom, which this, that's what this version of the TAS is using. Unlike most shooters, Fantasy Zone does not auto-scroll, making it a very interesting TAS game. Each level involves destroying eight enemy bosses, or bases, sorry, bosses, which allows you to fight the boss for the level. The game has seven levels and then a boss rush at the end. Uh, was that a desync? 
Oh, no, that was the whole thing. Huh. I was going to say, that looked like a desync, but no, that was actually the uh, way it ends the game. <laughs> Uh, the player has now destroyed the invading army and restored peace to the fantasy zone. This was a pretty weird task. I'm not going to lie. I don't know quite what to make of this one. Um, over on the left-hand side, we have... Hello, friends. A hand-drawn task bot done by Grave Dolly. Awesome stuff. You can find more artwork over at... Uh, where do you want to point people? That's okay. Well, thank you very much for tuning in.